like them totally understandable in that environment and the fact that people follow them also totally understandable in that environment huh weird things are coming to eat me those people protect me from the weird things that eat me exactly yeah i'm in <laughs> like, all i gotta do is not read <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> these rebel terrorists are blowing stuff up i'm in i know right core. god damn these <laughs> rebels messing up a good thing for five dollars Weird guy five six four. Thank you for the five dollars. Weird guy for fun. What do Kevin and Sean think is the best non Palladium or Savage Worlds game? Ah, outside your personal wheelhouse. What do you got? Best that's, that's well, a good tabletop one. RPG. I'm assuming. Yep. Um, then mm. I, I, you know, I'll say I had a lot of fun with Edge of the Empire. Oh, okay. But doesn't that require specialty dice? Yes. Gross. That, 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 it, that isn't sold anymore, or that those dice aren't sold anymore. I don't know. I mean, oh, okay. I'm just saying, I had a lot of fun with it with a two year campaign um, that we did, and 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 I I thought the the way that they did the obligation mechanic mm -hmm. was really great. Um, and uh, I don't know, but the specialty dice, I don't know if the juice is really worth the squeeze. I think you could have been rolling d20s with a fudge dice on the side or something. Yeah. But in general, um, the that because it's way more than just those dice, obviously. I thought that was really great. The other mm -hmm. one that I'd say is really, really great is Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, the old like mm -hmm. second edition. And I've heard the fourth edition is similar, but you know the percentile based combat mm -hmm. that was. Ethan, Doug, were you in our Warhammer game that Adrian was running? I, I was not. Oh, I, I played a Grave Digger, whatever it was called. I was like that sounds fun. I love that. It's just like <laughs> yeah, I'm a rat catcher. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Well, you Kev. Yeah, that, that that's a toughie because I mean, really, there's a lot of good games out there. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I, I had fun with, with the old Bushido oh. game. That, that was pretty cool. Uh, but I was kind of into, you know, Japanese mm -hmm. Asian culture. Um, you know, I would have to say D&D. &D. Okay. Um, you know, it's... I, I've ha I had a lot of fun with it when I played with it. I mean, I, there are a lot of things I didn't like and obviously made my own game system because of it, but... <laughs> But I mean, you know, I've also known a lot of people who have just adored that game. Eric Woodjick ran a game for like 27 years. Oh wow! The same, yeah, it was the one ongoing campaign for 20 D and D 27 years. I can't even so, imagine that. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I I can't either. I, I think the longest campaign I ever ran of the, with the same characters was like five years. Um, the Defilers were three and a half, but it felt like 20. <laughs> I moved around too much, like uh, being in the military, like the the two and a half year long campaign I ran with, you know, for Earth on with I ran with Ethan Dog. That's actually my longest single single campaign that I ran. And it's because I just kept moving. You're in Korea. You know, even after I got out of contract, I'm there for a few months. I'm there for a year. I'm there. Was, I wish I could have that kind of static group, man. I'd love to have a character for 27 years. It's yeah. Crazy. After after you after you got out. You went what? Uh, you went to Kuwait, then Okinawa, then Germany. Oh wow! You, the United States, uh, different places. In the United States, in between each one of those. Yeah, two. in between each time, you couldn't go from overseas to overseas. You had to come back for a certain amount of time and then go overseas again. So you, oh, we crap. were in Ohio for a while. Then, then you uh, okay. now you're in Alabama and Minnesota. Ba Minnesota. Back home in Minnesota, Illinois twice. Uh, where the heck out here in Alabama now? Germany twice, Okinawa. Yeah, uh, Kuwait. So yeah, he, he couldn't he couldn't keep a group together because sure. he wasn't there to keep it together. Right. <laughs> yeah. More traveling right. outside the military, it's weird. Crafty. Oh yeah, so I was putting up yeah, here because same, same question, but uh, for thank you for the two dollars, Crafty. It it was Saturday and Friday, but now yeah. it's not. <laughs> and Crafty again for ten dollars. Thank you very much, Damn. Kevin. Sean. Max is right. We're stopping there. Max is right. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <End of time. laughs> <laughs> the most fun I had with Riffs was my high school dog boy campaign. The party was I, the dirty dozen of dog boys set to do jobs for the coalition that regular CS did not want to do. I, I, I've, I've heard you comment about that before on a different forum, and I think that's a really fun idea for a yeah. campaign. Yeah, <clears throat> A lot of people love the dog boys. Dog boys, juicers, Lady Lane Walker. Yeah, you could do a whole campaign of just juicers. Magnificent Seven, anyway. I, I like the idea of the juicer. Like, I don't know. The, the, my experience, this is just my experience. The people who play the juicers are looking at the numbers, less the juice, so to speak. I, I don't know. It depends. I, I know uh, Joe Manganiello played a juicer for like maybe a decade. It was one of his favorite characters. 
we we found through play testing the Savage Rift stuff um, that different players had completely different approaches. There are two or three major approaches to juicers, yeah. depending on whether they saw it as a long-term campaign yeah. or a tragic hero. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. that yeah. led to updates to the, the burn rules um, to try and accommodate different play styles. All right. So there's two things left that I, that I want to do before you guys go. Actually, I would like to talk to you for just like a minute after the stream, if you're okay with that, mostly say yeah. thank you, et cetera. Um, but two things left. One I'm going to do. The other one is up to Heathen Dog. The one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway right now. So if you are watching on YouTube, sorry, it's only going to be on YouTube because that's all I can do. Uh, type anything. I don't care what it is as long as it isn't a poo, -poo word. Type it in the chat. It will get, it will get you uh, added to the list. I'm going to copy and paste that list. I'm going to put it into the magic roller here. And it'll be for, was it, 20, a $25 gift card. I'm going to give out two of them to a Palladium store. So... Uh, We'll roll the spinner twice, and I'm gonna give away two twenty-five dollar gift uh, gift certificates for, or from the Palladium Bookstore. In the meantime, it's up to Heathen Dog if he wants to uh, address the uh, the Tomorrow Legion stuff. Because uh, to okay. be fair, to be fair, it's not just about Heathen Dog. My Discord goes crazy over this stuff as well. I'm going to because I'm gonna be focused on this over here and not able to fully pay attention because there's a lot of stupid editing I have to do to get this uh, roller to work. Um, I'm just going to tell you my, my stance up front, which is I'm a purist in all things. I hate to say it that way, but I am. Oh, we're, like we were talking before the, uh, the show, uh, Earth Dawn has three forms of it. Or the first edition Earth Dawn has three forms of it. Earth Dawn, Savage Worlds Earth Dawn, and Pathfinder Earth Dawn. Pathfinder being by far the worst one because it does not capture the spirit. I'm not saying Pathfinder is a bad game, but it doesn't capture the heart and soul of what makes Earth on Earth on with the step system, with how magic works, with just it, sure. it, you can't you just can't replicate that. Right now, now I have two issues with Savage Worlds specifically. One, I hate cards in my games. I know you can you can get rid of that. And, and the word Bennies, come on, stop it. Be an adult. Say the word. It's benefits. Um, <laughs> but Savage Worlds itself is not a bad game. My issue is I, I there's never been a game that I can think of unless it's completely out of print, cannot get where I like the called the alternate version compared to the original version. Mm. Even if that original version is old with typos and so forth, like it's because the original version always seems to have the heart and soul in it where the alternate version seems to either be for the masses. I'm not saying this with the savage world is, but it's for the masses, which tends to dumb it down or can't capture that same setting. And I would cite for Savage Worlds for me, I looked at the Pyromancer and I looked at the Juicer and I was like, that's not a Juicer for me. Yeah, I, was so, my problem too. The Juicer so, was a big, big point. I'm a firm believer in saying things like, hey, it's Rifts like I'm running a Rifts setting or Rifts like setting in XYZ game, in this case, Savage Worlds, or, or we can pick any other game system out there. I'm not at this point. I'm not trying to pick on Rifts and Savage Worlds. It's just the alternate. Um, so. I'll leave my uh, yeah. I'll leave it there. Just basically, just understand that I'm a purist in this, and I've always found in my experience that the original is better. So I'm not trying to throw shade at Savage Worlds or Savage Worlds riffs. So. I'm an original. Yes. Yes. <laughs> absolutely. Well, you know, I, I, you know, I, I I understand what you're saying. You know, but uh, in my case, you know, part of the reason I worked on riffs for Savage Worlds, I really enjoyed it, um, is uh, they asked me to. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yeah, got the chance. They to work gave you riff. money, <laughs> I, well, and they and I got the chance to work on riffs. They almost didn't need to pay me at, start, at the start. So you know, just if someone said, "Will you do this one book?" I would almost do that for free if you, there was promise of more money down the road. So, but yeah, I um, I, that's that's part of why I got involved. But yeah, I think it, it is very different. And in fact, when we did when I did the uh, second, I, I say we, but and it was a lot of we, but it was me making the big decisions in the end. I guess um, is that's why I the second edition of Rifts for Savage Worlds you'll find has a lot more of the darkness and the grit and the brutality. And we revamped a lot of core systems for a lot of the iconic frameworks because I'm such a big fan of the original. And so, you know, after years of feedback, yeah, well, I wanted to dial in that, that in as much as possible, but I think you're right. I mean, it's, it's always going to be a different game. It's going to be a, a different feel. And, and, that's and, okay. and partly because, you know, the people doing it, the adaptation have their own biases and things like, um, Sean Patrick Fannin, who was the original guy behind it. Uh, in fact, there would, there would be no Savage Worlds riffs without Sean uh, Fannin. Um, 
you know, he looked at it in a lighter way. He didn't really see it as a horror game. Didn't really like those aspects. Um, you know, and whenever you're licensing to someone, you kind of go with, you, you know, you want them to be as loyal as possible and the loyal, the more loyal, the better, but you know, you try to give them some freedom to run with it and do what they think works for their game system. All right, he's well, Dog I'm Unleash. Right now. Oh, I'm okay. going to do this right now. Uh, for money? Understandable. <laughs> You'd be surprised what Heathen Dog would do for money. No, they wouldn't. That <laughs> <laughs> They'd be surprised at the amount. Oh, I got a price. I, my, yeah. look, look, I, I won't have any further, price. but my wife is still traumatized for something you did for money. Hey, hey Max. <laughs> hey, Max. Sir? Max. Yes? Go. Go back to your little spinny wheel. I, I, I am. I'm working on the All spinny right. wheel now. <laughs> All right, good. Now, uh, I'm 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 with Max with the whole the uh, diluting an IP with with an, uh, another system thing is generally a bad idea. The the thing yeah. is that I, I said it earlier a little bit about this. That peanut butter and jelly on a sure. sandwich they go together. You have a peanut butter jar of high quality peanut butter. Then then you got some high quality jams. Right. Put put it on some high quality bread. You got yourself. A beautiful and tasty sandwich. Savage World Riffs is like the peanut butter and jelly swirled into one package. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage because it's wow. low quality peanut butter, low quality jelly. And then you, you, put, you put it on bread. It tears up the bread. It, it oozes everywhere. It, it turns into a pile of crap. And that's exactly what happened. Now, the reason it happened wasn't because Savage World's a bad game. Like I said earlier, before the, before the cameras were rolling, I told you. I looked at Savage Worlds, I read the system, and it's good. Yeah. It's a good system. It's a great There's system. absolutely nothing wrong with it. But you mixed it with the, with the peanut butter in the same jar as Riffs, and it came out garbage only because that Savage World doesn't have the mechanics to properly explain what's happening in riffs. Now, the best example is, is what Max said a little earlier with the juicer. I I, I read the I got the Tomorrow Legion book. I I, I read the 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 whole juicer uh, Which OCC. Edition? Which edition? And I whatever one he gave me. It's, Which it's, is the one you sent me? And R two doesn't know either. <laughs> anyway, whichever one he sent me. These three. Okay. Uh, you send in the same one, the adventure edition? Yeah. Okay. okay. And I, I read it and it didn't feel like a juicer. It, it, it didn't have the same feeling. So I'm like, okay, well maybe you know, juicer's hard. Juicer's hard. Did there, you play not, it? Not, 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 not every Did game system it? can have a, have a mechanic to properly portray a juicer. I get it. So I read yeah. some of the other ones and they were all off too. Did some not, some not a lot. Did you play it? I, I, I didn't play it. I told well, you that. So I that's that's one thing I'll say that I'll just put this out there. When I when we did the when I did the um, a second edition update for Rich Savage Worlds, we had a lot of feedback. We had years of feedback from players. Specifically, for instance, we changed mechanics about the juicer, the the um, the leyline walker, the, um, you know, mind melters. A lot of important changes and updates that happened. But one of the things that was really interesting when we were talking about different mechanics dealing with, say, mega damage, um, like the the setting rule that I introduced. Um, the blood and guts uh, rule. Um, a lot of people were like, this looks terrible. I was like, okay, well, go play it and then tell me what you think. And they came back with completely 180 degree opinions. Uh, one of the things I will throw out there, and I'm not saying that means that it's right and your opinion is wrong or something. I mean, I know it's just your damn opinion and I don't give a shit. But, um, <laughs> but, 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 but for instance, one of the things that I thought was the most ridiculous ham-fisted thing when I first read Edge of the Empire Rules was the obligation mechanic. I was like, this is dumb. This is really ham-fisted. Uh, it was my favorite mechanic in the entire system as a player. Um, I, uh, and, and, and as a game master, it was fun too. But but yeah, so I just say, let's throw that out there. Sometimes you read through things and you're like, but it when you put it in the midst of the, Into practice. Of the practice of the whole, you might have a different answer. And we've had, a, I will say, two just straight up, just straight up. We've had amazingly positive feedback about the juicer. Kevin even gets it um, in Savage Rifts. The way he and said that, Kevin yeah. even gets it. Like, he yeah, doesn't no, get I mean, much, but he got like, this. He's got super plating fanboys talking to him, right? Like, uh, one right. of the things you'll find if you start writing stuff and doing, like, you probably already get this. You'll you'll get people that will tell you 
like positive things because they like your show or they like what you do or whatever, right? But you know what you really need to hear is when people don't like it, right? And that's oh, when I get a lot of that. Listen, <laughs> I try and dial yeah. things in, right, and be and try and be objective about stuff like that. So I'm I'll just throw that out there dude. that so I can understand happens. you read over it and you may not. And I'm just saying I totally get it, especially if you're just reading it over. You might be like, I don't see how this is going to work. Uh, the mega damage is the same way. We have tons of people that have um, looked at the because Savage Worlds handles heavy damage and mm -hmm. heavy armor very differently. It's their way to handle mega damage, right? And so we just changed the name of that rule, but like, you know, I've built in other setting rules for exactly how you handle certain situations. But it's one of those things that a lot of people come in and you can tell they haven't played a lot of Savage Worlds and they definitely haven't played Savage Rifts. And they're they're telling us on the forums on the Savage Worlds or the Savage Rifts Facebook group, this is why mega damage is wrong in Savage Rifts. It should be this way, this way, this way. And then we ask, well, have you played it? Because a lot of the guys will come back, yeah, it looked weird to me too, but it really works in Savage Worlds. So I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, I, okay. I just want to say that I, I disagree that it's garbage because I wouldn't allow garbage to be produced. <laughs> well, but after you sold the license, you had nothing to say about it. You just collect the money and be sad. <laughs> oh, wow. No, I have, I have approvals. So, he does have approvals. Oh, okay. um, but, you know, is it different? Yes. It is And it's supposed it to be different. different because it's a whole different mechanic. Yeah. So it's going to have a somewhat different feel. It's not going to be exactly what you people who are familiar with our game mechanics and our riff setting it's not going to be exactly the same um and they put different emphases on things we put much more emphasis on story and setting they put more emphasis on on rules and action um so it's going to have a different feel for sure but uh i wouldn't say it's garbage at all and i'd say that the marketplace disagrees as well it's made a lot of money yeah it's done really oh, well, well right. again you know pt barnum made a lot of money too he wasn't nice to folks so, no, yeah. there's a lot of the same fans too, though. So, and in fact, after <laughs> yeah, there the is second, a lot. There's a big crossover. The other thing I will yeah. say is that the second edition of Savage Rifts has had yeah. a lot more Palladium players crossing over yeah. to try a it lot out. more. So, right. and I, I know a lot of people. I met a lot of people actually at the open house who play Savage Rifts with one group, like say their wife or like more light role players, and then they play Palladium for the real, like, you know entrenched role-playing role role play yeah. yeah we're gonna do a four-year campaign or something right um but if they're doing a one shot with some friends or something like that they might do savages so that's not that's not a right or wrong that's okay i understand if you all right yeah, uh, if you, you I'll, that I'll, I'll make you a deal i'll make you a deal sure i i will i will play savagers i will find a group of experienced sure. uh savagers players and i will ask to join savagers.com pretty, pretty, pretty please tell the that i sent got me. it Got it, I, and and I I will play it for three <laughs> at least three game sessions because if, if you can't hook me in three game sessions then that's you know, fine. Whatever. And you know what? Maybe maybe it's not what you like. And that's then I will communicate to you whether <laughs> I have changed my mind because I may be a dick, but I am not a hypocritic asshole. Okay, if I change my mind, I will own up to that and say, okay, yeah, you were right. If someone asked me whether I want them to purchase, a, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this. No, you won't. No, you won't. A pinnacle it, book or a palladium book. I'll say buy the palladium book because that's the company I'm at. The, you know that's what? That's my company, right? I mean, Loyalty's I, I can work with them, but that's not my company, right? Sure. Loyalty is so. important. <laughs> Loyalty is important. But I love, I love both. I love both. And I love yeah. the people at both companies, right? So, um, and w if you buy both, I think that's great too. It supports everyone. There's a lot of people that have a there lot of go. passion for gaming. And I think that even if, yeah, maybe Savage Rifts isn't your thing, but you enjoy Savage Worlds, so go have fun with it. You know, have you tried Deadlands? That's badass. So um, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of great stuff out there. Now, the interesting thing I think is you guys are saying we need to have the Tomorrow Legion no, no, no. discussion. I have to step uh -oh. out for a minute, not because of the discussion, oh, because fine. I that's drink fine. like 32 ounces of water. <laughs> yeah, I got you, I got you. But one of the other things is that it's interesting because you guys said we need to have the Tomorrow Legion conversation, but really you're having the riffs in Savage Worlds yeah. conversation. Yes. Right? I, mean, no, I think the, the, the it's really, I, I really telling, like really telling on the Tomorrow Legion subject. Okay. Now, right? the, the whole Tomorrow Legion thing, my big problem with it is that if – if if I owned an IP and and I lent it out, this is this is just me. This is sure. th this one is not against anyone. All right, all right. If if I owned an IP and I lent it out for for someone else to 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 make 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 a game using their mechanics, I would not allow them to advance my storyline. I wouldn't do it. 
And in some areas, the Tomorrow Legion ad advanced the, the Rift's Prime Universe storyline. Yes. Yes. As and the, I, as I personally the, would not have done that. I personally think as that, the is a, books. that is a bad call. But I will also, un, un, unlike the whole like uh, uh, peanut butter and jelly in the same container, I'm not going to instantly say it's garbage. Because that one, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know enough to even have an opinion on that. That's that that is that that is of any relevance. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I think I understand some people come back come in with, you know, Tomorrow Legion is um, like Boy Scouts or something. I think that's a, maybe, and I could see that, especially the way that the original material was written. That's not really how I've ever played it or seen it. Um, I look at it as um, an extension of you know, people dedicating themselves to the Cyber Knight and Glitter Boy type cause, where you know they jump in and try and join. Um, you know, that kind of a front group to protect, you know, people. You can go read about it, obviously. We have, whole, we have books on it. Um, but um... The, the, the complaint that I heard, <laughs> I don't know any, uh, I, I know very little about Riff's lore, so I am right, not right. diving into it like some people. The sure. one complaint that I remember yeah, that some... The, book. The, the core Riff's book? Yeah. I have, no, I have. I have we actually did did it twice here on our show. No, yeah. but did you read the, the background, the world building section by with Aaron Tarn? I did. No, that was him. And and that's we do. We, we, we you haven't, you haven't read it. the whole core book cover to cover, so you don't understand the setting. That's all. That, no, no, that that that's that's hundred percent fair. No, he I, he completely this, agrees with you. Yes, he doesn't understand. He doesn't right, understand that's all I'm saying is just to, to yeah. clarify that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This this what I'm about to say didn't come from me. It came from somebody on Discord. Actually, when you were here the first time, I just didn't ask it. Uh, sure. Was about uh, uh, something about there being shouldn't be dwarves there or something. You turned it into Palladium oh, Fantasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's a big thing that I realized when I was in the chat on one of your interviews. With the guys from uh, don't hate dwarves, biggest geek or whatever. Nobody hates dwarves. <laughs> the, <laughs> the a there's a misconception that the dwarves at Castle Refuge are Palladium dwarves. They're not. They're just not from the Palladium. Like they're just dwarves. DBs. They're they're dwarves. They're dwarf yeah, they're just DBs different from world another. Dwarves. Just like the just, okay. so, so one of the things like I, I'm just you know obviously finishing up uh, work on the the new. Land of a Thousand Islands book, the South America book for Savage Wars. Uh, Columbia has dwarves that are techno wizards. No one said anything about those. They're also not from the Palladium fantasy world, right? It's just dwarves from one of the infinite dimensions in the megaverse. So if there, there's a lot of weird like assumptions that I guess come into that one. Yeah, it's really odd. Yeah, I don't or the, the, the Tomorrow Legion is like declared war on the coalition, which is not the case. Um, you know. <laughs> Yeah, somebody They're said like, something about it's too close to, and I do have your map if you want me to bring it up, but yeah, it's too close to the, the coalition. No, no, pop up the map. That'd be okay. great to discuss sure. this with the fans. Yeah, um, the, uh, uh, well, I don't, I don't understand anyone who tries to say like, like that doesn't belong in Riff's Earth or that's not in Riff's Earth. Bitch, Riff's Earth is belongs everywhere. Well, it literally has a door to everywhere. Right? Can you? Yeah. Can you zoom in on that? Sh the the sure. area right there in the center. Is it letting me? Oh, sorry, my computer is nine okay. years old. So, no, but but yeah, no. I mean, yeah, anything fits in risk. But also, it's like you know, maybe it's not that specific thing you think. So, Castle Refuge is in this. So, this map is really interesting because if you go and you read and you say, oh, the coalition controls Missouri, you know, they they control Missouri. Well, really, they claim Missouri, yeah. just like they claim all the states of the American Empire, right? The former states. And by the way, if people are like. I saw someone post somewhere or like, why do they have states and the outlines of the states from before the apocalypse? Because everyone, that's the way it is in Rift's Earth. That's how they perceive territory is, you know, we're, we're trying to rebuild, just like if you're trying to rebuild yeah. Rome. Yeah, right. They're just rebuilding the American Empire in their minds, right? American Empire, right? So the thing is, when you get into the details, and I noticed this a long time ago, but you have to take careful notes. It'll say in just one sentence somewhere, you know, they go up to the coalition patrols you know, go up to this this river or they control the territory uh, to this parallel or this river. And that's one thing that's really hard to visualize without a really great map. And so that's why I put a ton of time into this damn map, um, working with uh, the, you know, the, 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 the wonderful artist, Alita Saxon. Um, but if you see here, Castle Refuge just down the road from Kingsdale, which is just down the road from Lycan, which is just down the road from, from Merktown, right? So this isn't some heavily coalition controlled area it's it's in mount it's in it's a mountainous forested streams it's a very wild region i vacationed in that area near the buffalo river yes 
<laughs> well, no, uh, the, the the way Riffs is set up, it's like if, if you're 10 miles away from the next town, you may not ever visit that in your lifetime. The reason being is because not only do you not have long range communications, that's only part of it. That's the small part. The large part is that, yes, you can claim this whole territory is ours. But but all all of the all of the dirty rifted in DBs that that live there for a hundred years, <laughs> they, they say otherwise, you know. And you haven't pacified the region. You can claim it all you want. Like I I claim Thank this land. You. The name is Spain. Well, guess what? You, you better you better you better put all of Spain's military resources to control that land. You so don't control some, it. Probably some of the safest territory on Rift's Earth is the state of Chi Town, right? But really. If Chi Town were that safe, why are the Burbs right next <laughs> yeah. to the Chi Town Fortress City? They're in its shadow because that is the actual only kind of safe place. And there's still yeah. sometimes yeah. monsters and magic. Oh, yeah, users. but even that, you know, be, being next to the safest place in the world makes you safest place in the world adjacent. You know, right. that's yes. nice, right, right. So they're they're literally <laughs> butted up against the fortress, exactly. City, right? Yes, you know, because and that's that's how dangerous it is out there, right? Yeah. So, yes. so it's it's, it's the equivalent of a five year old that. grabbing mommy's leg. You know, is right. that really going to protect you? <laughs> no, but it feels good, right? So you know, coalition, for instance, CS El Dorado. You see Fort El Dorado there at the bottom of the map. You know, they're patrolling up to that river. I forget the name of the river right now. You know, that's an important thing to to, to conceptualize is that that's the extent beyond that is special forces or special, you know, yeah. teams going out, you know, um, Rangers and stuff like that right. going out. It's claimed Deep land, out. not controlled land. Right. Or, or settled, cultivated. Settled. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. Colonized, settled, whatever Lightly you want to call it. Colonized and patrolled and yeah. settled, but yeah. they're still, still going to run into monsters all throughout that, sure. that, yeah. that, oh, yeah. that area that is CS El Dorado. Right. So, that's that's the kind of stuff to remember when we're looking at rifts. It's, it's a, a massive, massive wildernesses and stuff like that, which is part of why, you know, I introduced the um, journey rules in the Twilight Legion field manual was to try and help add more to, you know, what is it like traveling through these dense tracts of jungle? Kevin and I talk about this a lot. How do we communicate that to yeah. players? I mean, in, 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 in Vietnam, special forces could maybe make seven out, seven miles in a day. Yes. Right, Agent Orange through, was a thing for a reason. Oh, that jungle right. was no joke. Jungle sucks. Through jungle and is dangerous, and you know that's this is worse. Rifts is worse. There's demons yes. and monsters. They want to eat yes. your face in that jungle, yeah. right? Don't, don't pee in the right. water. Something might fly up. For, you know, <laughs> swim up your tube. Uh, well, guess what? That now, now you have to worry. Don't be in the water because there's a friggin' giant monster that will eat you and your friends. You know, yeah. like it gets different. Yeah. Now, now I, I totally get what you're saying. You know. You, 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 we've got new lore updates to the Savage Rifts material that are, I mean, it's, 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 it's lore, it's Rifts lore. And that's not done out of any spite for anyone. It's just that the, the nature of these books is that, for instance, when I did Empire, wrote Empires of Humanity, or I wrote Atlantis and the Demon Seas, it covers usually half a dozen or more Rifts books. Yeah. And it brings all of them up to the 109 PA timeline. So part of that is just trying to, give fans um trying to fill in the gaps so that you have a coherent book to present to someone um but also you know it's it, it is a value all the, those things are going to be in you know in other books as well but yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like riffs aftermath in the sense that right that's how i say updating it too, yeah. and summarizing it is very much regions. riffs aftermath that and that's actually the literal template when sean when i joined uh the team and sean fan and i were talking he said we're, you know riffs aftermath is like our bible we're setting it in the same time frame right after the fall of tolkien before the minion war kicks off right so um and that's a great way to describe the books and it's not meant to slight anybody in fact you can run the adventure material just the same it's really easy to run savage worlds Adventure Savage Rifts of Adventures with Palladium Rules. Yeah. I put a article, you know, it's a two page article, should answer any major questions you have. Uh, we also have it for free, you can download it for free, yeah. um, online as well through drive through. Um, but it's in Rifter 85 as well. It's really okay. easy to use the adventure material. A lot of people yeah. that um, I've talked to, they're they've run Palladium, but they use the Savage Rifts Adventure material. And I'm glad that's good, they can have fun with it and their maps and their pawns and the maps and the pawns. Yeah, so I mean, we're, we're trying to make we're trying to use the opportunity to make it the best time to be a Rifts fan, right? And I think that there's a lot that 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 that, that Pinnacle does really well that can be brought to the table. 
um, you know, and a lot that Palladium does that, you know, this is this is a good time to be a first fan because you can go get those books and just read them and have fun. And uh, I, I remember people, t- one of the best compliments I got was multiple people were, after they'd read Atlantis and the Demon Seas, I'd send it to some of my close friends. Um, and they said, you know, it's really interesting. I've read all of the books that this is based on, but now I understand the interconnectivity between the Lemurians and the Atlanteans mm. and the New Navy and Atlantis and the Not Yule and the Lord of the Deep way better than I ever did before. And it's really cool to see all of it covered in one, in mm-hmm. one, you know, one breath, at, you know, uh, simultaneously. So I, you know, I, I, I understand if you, you know, Savage Worlds is someone's bag. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, it's I'm, not my bag. Yeah, I know, it's, it's not a slam on them. I it's just not it's not the kind know, of it's, it, it's, it's good. good. Yeah. You know, it's good. I, I've had, I've ran in a couple of games with uh, Sean Patrick Fannin. It's it's all right. I mean, it's good. He hasn't played in one of my good games. Good as anything yet, else. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you know, but I mean, it's not my personal cup of tea. Yeah, you wrote um, your own game. Of course, it's not. You know what I mean? That's the whole. Thing. I know, right? Yeah. The thing about having your own game company, but, right? But it's good. You're always going to your games are better. If you don't, you literally did something wrong. Exactly. <laughs> you know, people are like, "Well, what's your favorite system?" It's like, "Well, mine, dumbass." What? what <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's All right, like, uh, Shlo, do you yeah. got a roll to make? Uh, I, I I do, but I, I'm going to do that as we close this out here. A um, couple things. Uh, first of all, I. Is there going to be a tomorrow Legion source book for the Palladium side of Rifts? There might be. Okay. Um, I've certainly mentioned them here and there in a couple of books. Um, there, there may be. We'll we'll have to wait and see. Okay. They're, I mean, they're definitely part of the Rifts, the Palladium Rifts, and Rifts canon lore. Right? Yeah, they're part of the lore. Yeah. That right. that was that was the point that was made is that I don't buy the Savage World stuff. I like the idea of Tomorrow Legion. I want to know if uh, Tomorrow Legion's coming to the Palladium side. And I was like, all right, I'll ask. So uh, yeah, yeah, no, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Have, I've been surprised. A lot have asked me about that. They're really interested in it. So we'll look at that at some point, you know. But we have a lot of things we want to chew through. That you, as you can see on our our, our status page, there's a lot of stuff that really needs to get done first. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't use it for sure. Yeah, you know, Laszlo is a great example. People have wanted a Laszlo book for for decades, and you know it, it's it's a very important part of the Palladium setting or Palladium the Rift setting. So you know, I actually see it as like probably three or four books when the dust clears. Um, see, this guy is just going to keep ramping up the bank, the number of the books. I mean, I always thought as as, as two or three books. Yeah. I mean, just well, if you don't have something to look forward to, what are you doing, right? That's right. <laughs> How do you have a deadline for this project if you don't have another one waiting for it? That's right. Um, so, so my follow up with with the Tomorrow Legion thing, then we'll do the roll. Is um, I, I hear what you're saying, and this isn't to be argumentative with you, but uh, I would be remiss if I didn't bring some of this up. Uh, have Have I played it? I haven't played it directly. I've played Savage Worlds. I haven't played the Savage uh, Rifts. But I have 40 years of experience playing tabletop role-playing games and many, many different genres. Does that make me an expert of Shadow uh, Savage Worlds and, and specifically Suede you know, Rifts? No. But I can look at something. I'm pretty good about looking at something now and determine if it's going to work for me or not. Now, to be fair, for me, it's not a rules issue. For me, it's completely about the feel. Uh, and I do believe I'm one of those weirdos who says, yes, you know, some people will say, man, I can run any system, any setting, anywhere. Like I can't certain settings, certain games have a feel to them that cannot be mimicked in a different rule set. That's just a personal thing with me. That's not to say that Savage Worlds Rifts is bad. That That's my overall issue with it. And and so and then you said the marketplace. And that's the one that actually got my head to shake. <laughs> like, oh, really? Um Watsy owns the marketplace, and I'll tell you right now, I, I don't expect you guys to say it or even agree, but uh, it's, it's garbage. 4E was, as somebody put in chat, was a good seller. I hate 3rd Edition more than you could ever know. 5E is at least better than 3rd Edition, but uh, technically 5E is more popular. I, I think there are coincidences that come into play for that. I know a lot of people who play 3. Yeah. three. I can't stand 3rd Edition Dungeons Dragons. I think it's a horrible game on top of just everything else. With it. World of Warcraft is the worst MMO ever made. <laughs> I, it's popularity does not mean it's good. EverQuest, for all its faults, was a better MMORPG. 
was it a better game? Well, that's 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 a different question to me. But as far as MMOs go, with the with the tropes and things that should have existed with MMOs, WoW destroyed most of them and turned them into just games for masses. And I just I think that most games, whether computer, tabletop, whatever, when they become for the masses, they lose their heart and soul. Well, I'll just tell you right now, like my intention is not to keep Palladium in the smallest niche possible. And okay, well, well, when things like, change, like because and, if your measure of success is it fits this weird little thing that I'm interested in, and when it has broad-based success, that means it's bad and diluted. Doesn't necessarily, but oftentimes it is dumbed down. And I'll but, tell you because hey, you know what? That you could go and go tell people it's the worst MMO ever. Guess what? <laughs> like they still made money. It's a business. I get it. Sure. Tell you yeah. that you're wrong, right? Business. I disagree with you. So you just have to understand that your opinion is just one amongst sure. many, right? And and now that doesn't you know. I agree. Guess what? I played Five E. I played quite a bit of it. I have one of my buddies. I say his superpower is that he plays the modules exactly as they are written. Right. <laughs> like, like exactly. There's, there's no, like he's, you know, he's a good GM, but that's what his, that's what he does. And that's actually why I asked if I could join his, you know, Dungeons and Dragons 5e campaign. And it just wasn't for me. You know, I played it for over a year. And so, but at the same time, I, I'm going to recognize that 5e was a very good iteration of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, you well, know. it was a good iteration of a game, Dungeons and Dragons itself, and then that's kind of that's see that's the premise I take. Yeah, but it's but, it's not it's it, like the creators of Five E would disagree with you, and but they're not they, Dungeons and Dragons fans. So. They own it. They are Dungeons and Dragons. Sure, fans. no, no. You're lying no, if you say they're not Dungeons and Dragons. No, they're not. No, you, they're I, not can, I can take no, and ruin any IP. <laughs> well, I'm a Rifts fan, and Sean Fan is a Rifts fan. You know, and and we wrote Rifts for Savage Worlds. Sure. I, and I'm not. So so I, it's the, the point that I'm making here and I'm defending some of the folks on our discord by saying some of this and I'm expressing what I what I feel as well. Isn't the fact that that we think that that Savage Worlds is ruining riffs. Somebody can say that. I, I don't feel that. What we're scared of is that if you go with the go strictly with the marketplace, if Savage Worlds is a better seller than Palladium, wouldn't that by by your definition then say, hey, you know what? We, I made, one, just comment. This I made one comment about how a lot of people enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And you're taking it as if it was the core of my argument. I think sure. that's bullshit. I don't know. Fair. Uh, again, this is a concern that's out there. <laughs> I know. I have this, I know, I have this in my you know notes asking you, before even I'm this. Just you, that was not my core argument. Okay. And I think it's I think it's it's disingenuous to try and frame it that way. People can enjoy what they want to enjoy. Sure. There's lots of games. I like both. I enjoy fans that like both settings mm -hmm. and both rule sets. But when you're going to start talking about this in this like deconstructive way, it's not going to get us anywhere. But, that, but that's how the and fans. No, that's how, that's how fans. Serve. Okay, fans okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Deescalate a little bit. All right. Oh, no, I'm not mad. I don't think he's mad either. No, 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 no. no. And, and point, everything you said look, makes just absolute the sense. This doesn't mean it hurts what this is. You're right. You're absolutely right. Like, like I, like, like I think say. saying that is 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 flawed. Is, is yeah, it's 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 putting because words it in your mouth. No, no, it's it's worse than that. It's worse than that. It's worse than that. It's 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 trying to put ideas in your head right here, which is right? worse. But, but I'm not trying. I'm not trying to say what you're saying. What I'm trying to say is the fear of of fans, at least those who like to post on our Discord, are are like what they are scared of is that. So let me let me get the the verbiage that the person. Lady put. Rift will always exist. Savage That's what people need to hear may not have it's license agreed upon the next time we come up for the license discussion. I will be here doing this for as long as I live and breathe. Uh, th that's what people need to hear. Yeah. That, so, that's, okay. that's exactly what, that's, what everyone, if, if, if you want to break down up. every, every single thing <laughs> that, that everyone has ever said bad. This. I am dedicated to this. I am dedicated to this. Okay. All right. This See, is no. my business partner. Okay. All right. Th this is my favorite game ever made. <laughs> all right. Fifteen minutes ago, this all could have been done. Damn no, it, no, no, Brett! No. Why didn't you just ask no, the, the right fucking question? Framing it, the other people liking other things is bad, and I think that's no, bullshit. exactly, exactly, I exactly. Bullshit. I'm fair. I I am a bad interviewer. I I, I did a couple of shock jock things ju d earlier ju just for fun. It was right? fun. It was okay. It was okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was it was it was just fun. for fun. But uh, but I am a bad interviewer because I did not frame the question correctly. And that's on me and him. No, it's good. You're I'm, good. I'm throwing him You're under good. the bus too. 
We, we got I, I'm, just, I'm just putting out the, 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 the fears of folks. This yeah, will no, this, be here. This yeah will the actual be question that I should have asked, on. Yeah, the actual right. question that I should have asked would be, now, now you've you've had you've had some some success with with Savage World Riffs. Mm -hmm. Sure. Is is that going to to influence the Palladium system moving forward? Meaning, is the Palladium mechanic going to change moving forward because Savage Riffs is such a success? No, no, we don't we don't have any. All right, that, to... then, it doesn't, then, it doesn't, that's it, then that's done. Then that's So first of all, Savage. Savage riffs. I don't even think of it as as ours. Um, it's it's Pinnacle's game yeah. and it's Pinnacle's rules, and we're going to continue to do things the way we want to do them because that's why I started my whole freaking company in the first yeah. place. Well, and, there's, and there's levels to that kind of a question, right? Like, are we going to get rid of d twenties and percentile skill rolls? Hell no. Um, might you see us say Kevin loves? the um death or what was it um blaze of glory oh, blaze of glory yeah 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 right he loves the blaze of glory mechanic yeah might you see that incorporated in a future book yes because okay. I, I blaze of glory, glory mechanic savage world so we, 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 in it when the when the juicer is coming up on, on his time death, yeah, last call and, yeah. but you can also yeah, apply it call, to yeah. other characters in the setting you know, if a character decides they want to go out with a last heroic act, there are various ways to handle it depending on you know, exactly which edition you're looking at of Savage. Oh, right, right, yeah. But it's the there idea are, that you can say, my character's going to die, but I'm going to go out with a bang and yeah. try and do X, Y, Z. And it's, 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 you know, there are mechanics to it, but there's all, it's also more of a discussion between the GM and the player and the story, right? And, um, you know, I'm a big fan of it. Kevin's a big fan yeah, of it. It's, you yeah, know? It's sort of a dirty dozen kind of thing or, or magnificent seven. We had that mechanic in Earth on. He knows what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, so are there going to be maybe influences? Sure, there could be little influences, but there could be influences from any game out there. But let's yeah. go back to what you, what was said at the beginning. That's growing upon, not retconning. And not changing the core of the Palladium system. And I think that's what that that's we, what the crux of most yeah. people are. And if I implied that it's a bad game otherwise, for me personally, change is bad. Unless it's meaningful, so just changing something for the sake of changing, oh, yeah, I, I would no. absolutely come out and say that's that's bad. But of course. to to build upon with that, no, that just enhances. That's something that's Holy better. Shit. Yeah, guys, Wait, the, the, for, for forget about forget about Savage. Yeah, we're Worlds. moving on. I, I why so didn't want to talk people, about this, Max. God I, damn it! I had so many people come up to me and say, "You you need to do five E books, do oh. Riffs five E, do do Palladium five E." And I, I mean, of course, no one ton, says that now. Tons of people. <laughs> no. oh, yeah, not recently, but I mean, he called. He called it a decade ago. It, 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 it. I had tons of people, including some of my fucking freelancers and friends, go, Kev, you should turn it into five E because you'll make shit loads of money. And I'm like, well, you know, I want to make shit loads of money, but yeah, she was really great. But, but every every other person who's 5e. tried five E, their first attempt was a fucking disaster. Cthulhu tried it. They went, oh, I'm, I'm going to go to D20 when it was, what, a four? I think through 3.5 or yeah. four. They yeah. went to D20. Yeah. They tried it one time, and they had one printing of that book and fucking buried it. Well, because uh, I, 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 I agree. I agree with John, you know, because it, it really, it, the, the game system you're using, it matters. It does. Right? It's just going to change the feel of what you do. And, you know, my, again, my thing is I'm just going to push really hard back against people who say, you can't do it because they're wrong or something, right? Someone sure. else is enjoying it and it's bad. Um, you know, I just don't, I think that's negative and destructive yep. um, for the community, but, but um, no, we have no interest in um, aping anyone else's shit. We, no. we are who we are. And again, that's why he's here. Cause I've had, like I said, I had a surprising number of people who I would have never guessed would have come to me and say, you should do five E, you know, turn your games into five E and I'm like, but that's not who we are. That's not what we're trying to do. It's funny that you had that reaction because we've had multiple designers oh, on God, here. Mark, not going to mention. Ah, I wasn't going to mention names, <laughs> <laughs> but we've had multiple designers on here that have gone literally the opposite route. One of them came out, person he just mentioned a moment ago, and said when when asked directly the question, "Why are you doing a five E version of this?" Money, money, 
I mean, at least he's honest. Look, but cannot but cannot fault the honesty that, in that. But but but, but the sure. thing is, he tried a D twenty before and it was a failure. And he's like, no, five E came out. I'm going to do it again. That's like you know the definition of insanity, right? <laughs> well, you know what is D twenty? What is five E? You know, I mean, yeah. there's a. Okay. But no, no, it's it, it's the idea of changing your whole system, and and right. and dis, and deciding what's oh, definitely going to work. No, man, well, it's, it's not definitely going to work. You well, got to like really said, finesse that shit. You asked me what my favorite things are about the Palladium system, right? Yeah. The, 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 you, the, the, it, no other system has the Palladium combat, the right. action reaction, right? There's the opposed roles. Everyone else is. I mean, that used to be more popular. The, the way the moral, yeah, the alignments, the moral codes work, right? I mean, it has a similar name, but it really it's a very different thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, and those are the things, um, well, the, you're getting experience. You don't get experience for killing stuff. Oh, yeah. People have been putting that in chat a lot to bring that up, but I, I haven't because oh, yeah, I think it's obvious. Yeah. But, but it's, it's a huge innovation. system. Yeah. It's a huge innovation. The other thing is, is a lot of people, you know, Palladium is technically a level-based game, mm -hmm. but there isn't some exponential power curve. As char characters start out as whatever they are, whether it's a Palladium Fantasy Ranger or a Rift Cyber Knight, you are what you are at level one. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't feel like that with, uh, you know, a lot of other game systems out there. And But one of the things is that it's after that, you kind of grow into, you learn to mm -hmm. have skills and you hone your abilities as a character. You don't just, ah, ma now I can't even fight this thing because it's not even a challenge. I need a level 10 enemy, right? You know, it does. Mm -hmm. it's not like that. There, You don't have to section it off like that that's not how you build encounters for palladium is with some math formula, right and that's what i love about it because it's much more subtle and it's much more about character and story and role playing so yeah oh, we don't like about any of that none of it and that's why i'm happy to be yeah, here our, our depth of story the focus on, on story and setting none of that's ever going to change and and again that's why he's here because he believes in that as fiercely as, that's awesome. as i do so yep. well I, I appreciate it. again if anybody now decides to come after me saying i wasn't hard enough on that question i don't know what to say because i'm not going to be a complete dick about it yes a lot of that were is absolutely my beliefs well some people think i'm like shane hensley's you know secret <laughs> right. love child that's infiltrating <laughs> You're the organization, stealing it. <laughs> and it's all going to become savage worlds and it's yeah. like they they just don't understand they think that kevin approached them no Pinnacle licenses from Palladium, right? Palladium is in the driver's seat. Palladium is in control. We do not have we. It, that's great. If we we've had we've had a company approach us about doing um, other Palladium settings in the Savage Worlds rules. We're happy to have discussions about that, right? That's cool, right? But that's not us. That's yeah. we're Palladium, right? And we're yeah, going to keep doing Palladium. You are, you are not Sean progress Owen Palladium. What's that? <laughs> wow. You are not Sean Sean Owen Yoko. You're not going to ruin the ruin <laughs> no. the Canadian band. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm the Robertson man, and that's that's who I am. It's me. You know, me and Kevin were. You know, we we really see eye to eye. We both love the system, and we love um, storytelling and running the same kinds of games. We're the same kind of game master. We're the very similar kinds of storytellers. Um, you know, so that's why it's a good fit. And that's what, you know, the funny thing is I wanted to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, I, I don't think anyone else could have, could have said, you know, you say, why Kevin? That's, I don't think anyone else could have brought me in the same way because they could, you know, I, 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 I was done with, you know, I wanted to do more stuff on my own, you know, and, 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 and do create the kind of games that I think need to be out there for people to play. Uh, fortunately, Kevin and I have, uh, you know, we see that see, see eye to eye on that. So that that's yeah, uh, yeah. I, I I didn't realize people were so concerned that things were going to go different directions because they're 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 not. No, uh, that Sean's here to continue Palladium. the the legacy. Not that I'm going anywhere as anytime soon. I hope not. God willing. Um, but got some books for you to write. That's right. <laughs> There's books. a bus with everyone's name on it. Yeah, and honestly, uh, th th this, <laughs> if this doesn't assuage people's uh, opinions or conspiracies on this, whatever, I don't know what to say at this point. Obviously, proof is in the pudding, so we'll look five years from now, ten years from now, and we'll see what happens. But as of right now, we can't do anything other than take you at your adamant word, which is very adamant, and it is your word, I believe both, that, uh, that we're good to go for the future. And the folks who well, like the Savage World sides are going to get 
the Savage World content, the people who want the Palladium exactly. side, is and going and to and continue and to get anyone, pulled. Yeah, anyone that knows me is going exactly. to know that I have a lot of my own opinions about game design and mechanic design. You know, why would I ever be like, oh, I'll just do what Shane's doing, right? I love working with Shane, and I love being a part of the Savage Rifts team, you know, on that. But, you know, I have a chance to be a part of something that's, you know, mine now, right? And Kevin's, obviously, you know, but that's the great part of what we're doing. So, you know, why would, why, as someone who's just to understand from my point of view as a designer and a storyteller, why would I go do that? You know, I, I get it. If there's people that are interested in, you know, I just want to make setting books. So I'm going to use Savage Worlds or I'm going to use 5e or whatever. And you just, because you just want to write adventure modules mm -hmm. or something. Savage Worlds, great. I think for that's, that. that's, that's great. It is great. Exactly. You know, we have people approach us to do stuff with Palladium rules, for instance. Yeah. So those, 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 it's great if someone else has a system and that's not your thing. But me, like rules mechanics, design, that is my thing, right? So I would never give up that kind of a, a chance to keep building on my favorite game system. And that's awesome. the thing is going to be build on it. Will, will there be some changes in the future? Probably. Yeah. Are we going to continue to try to innovate? Absolutely. You know, we kind of touched on that when we said, are there ways to mechanize game mastering to make it mm -hmm. easier, more approachable for people. That's something we discuss about all the time. And we don't want to go into details about anything because we don't know where we're going right now. It's just all, you know, talk and speculation and, well, you know, testing. yeah, but y you know, we, we don't know where exactly where things are going to go, but are we looking to do something more like Savage Worlds? No. Or 5e? No. Or any other game system you guys want to throw out there? No. <laughs> but but I will put this out there. If if you do see us making, you know, updates and changes or, you know, expanding things, one of the things that I will promise you is that it's going to be because we feel it captures the way Kevin runs a game better. Yeah. Or I okay. would run a game better. Does that make well, sense? You're, so you're actually, yeah, you're actually circling back to what I said earlier about the difference between a real professional game designer and, and ju oh. just a guy who can design games the real professional game designer can see someone else's vision and use their talent to and to go down that road rather than only being able to do what they feel like they need to do and not being able to do anything else and moving on right or just like so, the, like we talked about you just you just outed yourself sir <laughs> as a professional stop it <laughs> Well, it's, you know, it's, it's just like, it's something as simple as bonuses to skill checks, right? It's, it's right now it's, it's implicit. It's not explicit in the mm -hmm. books, right. but if you see that change, it's because it's something that was always ex implicit for me and Kevin, and we want to make it explicit. And mm -hmm. so if you see something like, like a blaze of glory, that's the kind of stuff that Kevin's been doing since the defiler days. Right. When the player's like, I'm going to die. I just oh, yeah. want to try this last thing when I'm fighting the demon yep. or the dragon. Yep. And, if, and I know I'll die, and I know it'll yep. kill me, but if I can make yep. this roll, can it have this effect in the story? And Kevin's like, hell yeah. Right? Yep. So, and that's. Yeah, the guy's going to die anyways. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a great idea. Yeah, and it's epic. And it's like, I so can go it. for it. So that's, that's what storytelling's yeah. about. Yeah. That's exactly. Now, uh, so, just, just a, just a, a, a little, little piece of uh, unsolicited, probably bullshit advice. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the only time I have seen explicit bonuses and minuses to, to uh, skill roles is in the, in the um, uh, Heroes Unlimited Genius category, hardware, mechanical, stuff like that. They have bonuses and minuses explicitly stated. And those are horrible. Don't, don't use those. <laughs> no, don't don't well, use those. Those are bad. Just, we're, we're not. And, that, and <laughs> part of that on a philosophical level is you don't want to get mired in, you know, a lot uh, of minutia. Exactly. Right. So, exactly. so, so in a lot of ways, it's more about, we will state very clearly, this is the game master's place yes. to be making their decision. DM's option, whole box nonsense. Got it. Right. Check. Right. Well, right. Give yeah. me because, some because if you some keep money, going man. too far down that path, it gets out of control, right? Where right. you're then trying to create modders, modifiers for every single possible situation. You're, you're going to go blind. Way. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to roll for some for some prizes here. We got two chats to read. Heathen Dog's going to do that. We're going to okay. talk ourselves out here. Uh, give me, please give me like you know uh, one to five minutes after the stream. And I know it's been a long time, but uh, we'll also have words of wisdom 
but let's start with the roll and go ahead and hit those chats. Because I well, okay. before you hit the chat, I gotta say if you win something, I must get your email address. If you're not willing to give that to me, don't put it publicly in the chat because people will start spamming you. You'll get a bunch of porn. Don't do that. But I have to find a way to to do it. Verify legit. your identity. Yeah, to verify your identity. And YouTube does not make that easy. But if no, you win, Twitch does. YouTube doesn't. Yeah. So if you win, let's figure out a way of you getting me your email address because that's the only way this works. All right. Okay. So uh, first one is uh, got to watch from the start, but want Kevin and Sean coming back on. Well, af after after Max wanted me to go into tomorrow, Legion fucking nonsense. Now they won't. Thanks a lot, <laughs> Max. You dirty fuck. I know it's my right. That's right. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Kevin. Hey, you know, the best story I ever heard about Kevin was from the biggest geekest guy. It was from, oh my God. I, I, I am so sorry. I get the graphic artist for him. Why can't I could picture him? I can't hey, think Morgan. of his name. Enough. When you, when he's like, uh, I don't think I'm a good artist or whatever. And, you, and he said, you smacked him on the side of the head and said, you can draw. I'm like, that's the type of person I want to game with. Somebody who isn't worried about every, oh, I said something wrong or I did this. No, I want to talk to real people about real things game. And if some, if I'm being a douche, like, like Sean yelling at me a moment ago, that's perfect. No, that's, that's how people resolve things. That's how, yes. yeah, just stop, stop being pansies. Okay. It's and okay. you know what? It's all right. We're, you know, we're all, we're all grown men. It's discussion. Fine. Yeah, just absolutely. For, yeah. Patrick, for the thank record, you, Bruce. For the record. I prefaced this before the show started, my thoughts on Tomorrow Legion, and I toned them down on stream. That was I, a I clue to Max to not do it. All the time. I answer it all the time. I've been answering it for three years. I didn't even create the damn thing, but I <laughs> it it's, it's an albatross on you now. You have to live with it. I mean, I kind of like it. Kevin likes it, so I'm not getting rid of it. A lot of people love it. So Morgan Stiern, Stiernstrom. <laughs> sure. Okay. I, I feel a Viking. Morgan is a, is a longtime fan and a big supporter. Great to see you on here, buddy. Thank you so much. That's right. awesome. I'm a Savage World Rifts player and bought like 20 Palladium books already and around 40 PDFs thanks to Savage, Savage. Savage World. There you okay. go. And thanks to you, Morgan. Right. We really appreciate your support, buddy. All right. In this instance, Morgan, you are making Kevin lots of money. Good man. I wish. <laughs> Good man. More money. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> By 40 more. All right, let's pick our first person. And if your name's not on the list, sorry, I actually grabbed the list four different times during our conversation here. So, first one. Pretty sure you back type more buttons too. Is. Oh, we didn't get the do do do. Where's, where's my name? That isn't the name. Nerdy Ogre. Okay, so it took that long. Nerdy Ogre, look at that. I know how to get a hold of you, sir. You don't have to. Nerdy Ogre is actually a huge Palladium fan. He got a couple Christmas specials this time, so uh, or Christmas packages. Uh, Nerdy Ogre is good people. He's even in our Rifts game that uh, that we streamed. He's our Wilderness Scout. So there you go. Very, very deserving. You will get a uh, Nerdy Ogre. I'll hit you up on Discord, and we'll get you your $25. You can just shoot me a message on Discord. Your $25 uh, gift certificate for Palladium Books. And one more. New New York's gonna win. Like rig. I, I think it removes him. I hope so. Oh, and I know this one too. All right, Mr. Max Boyvon is in as well. I don't have your email address, but I know who you are. So if you want to shoot me a uh, a message on Discord, uh, so by the way, Reactionary Principal Game with Mr. Max Boyvon has his own tabletop rpg channel you can check him out so you two i know who both you are it, this is really easy today thank god uh so i can close this out and uh, i will send you guys your 25 dollars gift cards for palladium bookstore no i'm not changing to anywhere else not going to pinnacle sorry <laughs> but, uh, please wow you, you want to kick or kick a mother down more come on man <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Anywho, I'm sorry. sorry guess. Guess. Good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna let Heathen Dog talk us out uh, with some words of wisdom. But before I do, before I do here, we'll go in this kind of little order here. Heathen Dog will close it out for us. Uh, I want to say, obviously, thank you for being here. Uh, you guys have been absolutely gracious throughout this entire time. Uh, beginning from when Kevin first came on long ago to now, uh, Kevin, our emails back and forth. Uh, just so you know, I absolutely read them, and they they are they are thought provoking, and I appreciate that. I re I really do. I, I appreciate that. Um, next time, yes, I'm saying there's a next time. You don't know it yet, but there's going to be a next time. No questions. I just want to talk about gaming. If you guys are okay with that, sometime in the future, whatever you guys want to do. I I do like to I do enjoy these with the live questions. I'll yeah. throw that out there because sometimes, especially lately, Kevin and I have just been 
working every day trying to get product done, you know? And mm -hmm. so it, it actually is really nice for us to hear from the fans and hear what the questions might still be out there, right? Mm -hmm. um, and just try and answer it for a few more fans. Yeah, well, how many times have we asked the same question yet? over and over again? So yeah. uh, what was that, Heathen Dog? Sorry. What, what, what bug haven't you squashed yet? You know, which, which of these cockroach questions won't fricking die and <laughs> you found it. <laughs> you, you are, you are, you are the, you are a plant from pinnacle. That, that's the one that'll never die. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know what to ask on that anymore. If that kind of keeps coming up on the discord, like I find out say, if Sean up, and punk. Kevin are changing everything. So I don't know what to, I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, the weird thing, thing is, the thing is <laughs> like, I think people are going to have that 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 mm. conception as long as I remain the line editor for Savage Riffs. There but I go, don't know. Yeah. Maybe even after I, even after that's you know no longer a thing, which I don't see why it wouldn't be. But you know, what difference does it make? Like that's this is ninety nine percent of my time now is yep. here. You know, I, I I help them. You know, moving forward, I'm going to be helping to plan what is probably an upcoming products. I'll be. I'll be very involved in, in, you know, the approval side and making sure, Hey, I think maybe this should be this way or that way, but you know, that's not where I am. This is where I am. So. Yep. Good. A absolutely. The other thing I want to thank you for honestly is thank you for everything that you've done with Palladium books for 40 years now. I, 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 and yeah. again, I mean that uh, I started with Robotech and TMNT as you guys probably heard me say a bunch of times, you have converted me over to actually enjoying riffs. <laughs> because <laughs> I was never a Rifts fan, even when we played it back in the 90s. Uh, I'm enjoy thoroughly enjoying this game. I bought a ton of Rifts books recently, so uh, I I'm glad it's there. It's an amazing system that I think that people are confused about that I hope can be corrected, Lydia. for lack of a better word. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I think that once people start playing it, they absolutely do enjoying it. It's getting them to that table. So thank you for that. Uh, if there's any final comments you two want to make when you're done, Heathen Dog will walk us out and we'll be done for today. Yeah, I kind of wanted to make a, a, a an announcement. Uh, I, I'd be mentioning it in our weekly update in, in a couple weeks anyways. But uh, this year is Palladium Fantasy's 40th anniversary. Wow. Nice. And one of the things we're doing to celebrate that is that there are two books in the series that were never updated to second edition. Uh, and that's the Yin Sloth Jungles and Island at the Edge of the World. And we will be doing that this year. Wow. Uh, and hopefully release a, a new book or two uh, for the series. We already got somebody. There you go. Play a fancy woot. <laughs> any, any final words, Sashan? Um, yeah, I guess I just, yeah, that, that it really, I most want people to know that, like, I am a Palladium fan. Um, I, I love the guys at Pinnacle. I really do. They're great people. But, you know, I don't that, – that's that's someone else's game. This is my game now, right? Literally. So um, that's what I'm interested in. And, and we, we – you know, Kevin and I just want the Palladium system and the supplements to be the best stuff we can make it. Um, we're really dedicated to the books. You know, people ask about a lot of other stuff, you know, miniatures and maps and blah, blah, blah. But really, those are all game aids. Mm -hmm. That's not – core product so you know we're really focused on the core product and making that the best it can be um you're i think people are going to be very happy with uh titan robotics very soon um we uh are finishing that up and uh i think that uh you're going to see as we continue to move forward we're going to go from strength to strength and i think people are going to be surprised at what they see because you know palladium um for a long time was known to have the best presentation values in the industry and that's our dedication to to get back to, 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 do, to yeah. get back to being not not just the best we can be but you know the best that's out there what, what we think is the best that's and great. so um whether you know and, and and again it comes down to a lot of it's just figuring out how to present things you know it to um to the gamers in the best way possible to help them have a great time because any role-playing game can be fun if you have a great game master mm -hmm. um but we want to help lower that bar for other people and help them get in and get their feet wet and have a lot of fun. Yep. So that's our real dedication for the fans. Um, you're going to, again, um, you know, I've, I, I didn't want to drop the ball with any of the stuff working with Savage Riffs, but you know, my, my focus is definitely at Palladium um, uh, now more than ever. And so um, I, I hope that everyone enjoys all the stuff that we've got coming in, in, in the works. You will. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. 
All right, Heathen Dog, take us out right. so I can play the song and, uh, and okay. go eat. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming by. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you to our guests. They are they were more than accommodating to my bullshittery, <laughs> which is <laughs> which is man. awesome. I love that. And I and if you if you read the transcript, I didn't call Savage Worlds Rift garbage. I called when when you put jelly and peanut butter in the same container. That shit is garbage. <laughs> and and I'm never going to be that. swayed otherwise on that <laughs> ever. Jalapeno peanut butter is worse. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you saying bad things? Right? Stop doing that. <laughs> Jesus. All right. All right. But, uh, I, for, for everyone here, I I'm sorry we we couldn't have gotten to all your questions or all your comments. It just there just literally is not enough time. We are way over time right now. We got to get 20. these people out of here, or we'll, we're literally going to have a strike drone come on us. We don't want that. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, thank you very, very much for coming by. I hope we got all your questions that we could in Discord. I hope everyone had a great time. I hope it had. I hope our guests had a great enough time to, time. to not you know, talk behind our backs, because if oh, we're gonna do that if, anyway, if you're gonna insult us, at least do it to his face. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend.